Wes to Harmin friend and welcome to it, another video. Do you want to have a laugh, my dear friends? Please look at the screen. Uh, so the Rings of Power has been out for about two months already and we all know what it is all about. And uh, I think that everybody has got their own quote-unquote ratings in their minds. But if you look at the screen, please, once again, you will see something slightly fishy. You will see that... Uh, some websites and fan sites, quote unquote, are a little bit less honest than uh, the rest of us. Now, uh, the One Ring.net, they are, I think, quite famous in uh, the community. Now, I hate the word community. Let's say in uh, on the internet, uh, as far as uh, the fantasy genre aficionado groups go. And uh, I think that they have been around for a long time, even before, I, uh, I believe, uh, the release of Peter Jackson's trilogy. Now, I haven't been following them at all. Uh, I only uh, took notice of them a couple of months before the release of The Rings of Power. It's just because I'm not really interested in... Uh, websites or fan sites. I've always been okay just by uh, reading the books, watching the films myself. It is just doesn't just uh, concern the Lord of the Rings, but everything really. But of course, uh, they slowly uh, lost, uh, well, not their followers or the or the follower base, but uh, since they are not interested in rereading the books over and over again and bringing new content to the audience on YouTube and other social media platforms, they stopped losing relevance and uh, that is why they needed to grasp onto another opportunity and that is of course uh, <laughs> working for Amazon, and I'm not talking about working for money, now I doubt that many of these shills are getting money for their services, I think they are doing it for attention, I think they are doing it for the opportunity of an occasional interview with uh, some of the Nothing Burger actors, they are doing it for uh, tchotchkes and uh, bagsies of merch here and there, uh, maybe to get promoted on the social media platforms a little bit more. Uh, I consider it not being worth it because uh, this attention, this cloud is only temporary and it will cost you more followers than uh, it will gain you uh, more followers, if you know what I mean. Nevertheless, there have been some fan sites and fan groups who have been calling themselves Tolkien fans or the Lord of the Rings fans. After all, these are called the One Ring.net and uh, then sold their souls for 30 pieces of silver and of course uh, they have been promoting the Rings of Power for months and they had been promoting the Rings of Power for months before the release of the show. Now since the show is already out and we know that it is uh, probably the worst TV show made in the last 30 or 40 years, uh, full stop, not only does it not follow the texts that have got the that they have the rights for the prime video, I mean, which is only the appendices to the Lord of the Rings, uh, but also as far as uh, the TV show overall standing on its own, being its own thing, it's very poorly made, and we know that. And if you are interested in my detailed uh, reviews and uh, um, information that I provided and my opinions on it. Feel free to check out my other videos, my previous videos. I've got a full playlist on my channel concerning just with this important The Rings of Power. And why am I focusing on it too, so much? Well, because if I stayed silent about it, there would only be the shills that would be very loud. And there would be nobody to defend Professor Tolkien, his works, to defend, uh, well, true, true, actual, good adaptations, like the adaptation done by Peter Jackson over 20 years ago. And then there would be nobody else. People just would not hear the other side of the story if the, tr if the honest people stayed silent. Now let's just look at the ratings. It's very, very funny ratings uh, of the first season of The Rings of Power as provided by the One Ring.net. Now by this I want to thank the One Ring.net for this picture. I appreciate it. And uh, all the credit, as far as this particular photo, picture, whatever goes to the One Ring Dotnet, I do not own it. 
but I want to comment upon it. This is uh, the purpose of this video. So, uh, the one ring.net, the rings of power, season one report card, visuals A. Now, why? So, as far as uh, the visuals go, uh, the CGI and the practical effects, they are mediocre at best. The CGI in uh, most cases is too apparently CGI. Now, you can see today in the entertainment industry, quote unquote, in films and TV shows, you can see CGI that is made uh, of a ha much higher quality. And the CGI effects are getting so good today that often you don't realize at first, in the first couple of seconds, you don't realize that it is made on computer, that these are computer graphic effects. Well, of course, in The Rings of Power is not so. You instantly know that it's CGI. It, in many cases, it looks like it was a cut from uh, a video game. And uh, if the graphics, if the visuals, by which I mean, for example, the uh, the one, the one and only shot of Laurelin and Telperion we got from the show, it looks mediocre. It looks good, yeah, but 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 it looks not. It doesn't look doesn't look better than any other CGI made in twenty twenty two. Now, if you then compare the entire show, uh, as far as its visual aspect, to Peter Jackson's trilogy that was made over 20 years ago, Peter Jackson's trilogy obviously looks much better. And that is also because he used uh, a lot of practical effects. A lot, a lot, a lot of practical effects, which then were accompanied by CGI very well. So my rating for visuals would be... Uh, S for sort of, or F for FBPU, because uh, it could have been done much better. Acting, you have to be kidding, right? A. All the actors, except for two, were planks of wood. And those two actors that had potential, they were J uh, Joseph Moore. Is he Joseph? Well, the mall guy, he, the guy who played uh, Uncle Benjamin in Game of Thrones. He has acting potential. He's a good actor. He portrayed Adar in the TV show and the fellow who portrayed uh, Durin the Fourth. They, they are very good actors, and, um, but they can't save it. So of all the actors, just two having potential? No, so definitely not A. Quite the opposite, actually. Pacing, C minus. Uh, I was falling asleep throughout the show and I had to watch it on 1.5 speed all the episodes and still it was too slow <clears throat> so if one has to watch an episode on 1.5 speed and it's still boring and slow it's not even C minus once again F writing are you kidding C Write writing C I have never seen such an incompetent writing in fantasy, television, or film. Now, I've I said that many times before, that the writing resembles my short stories when I was eight years old. Eight years old. My first attempts to write fantasy short stories. And of course, if you take into consideration the fact that, uh, you know, I wrote those short stories when I was a wee lad and they, they were my first ones, then it was quite understandable that the writing was what it is. But we are talking about the budget of billions of dollars. We are talking about adults writing the script. And, uh, but we know at this point who it, uh, who it was that wrote the script, right? So once again, it's not C, they, they, they would be too generous. F. Fidelity. You don't mean this seriously. C minus. Can you point me to one thing that would be faithful to the source material other than a couple of names? A couple of names won't save anything, my dear Shillies. Not C minus. F. So, what's that? Sound effects. Uh, sound effects. Uh, I mean, yeah. 
I didn't even pay attention really. It's, it wasn't it wasn't anything prominent or dominant. So it, it isn't really about me paying attention or not paying attention. It's just that I didn't even notice anything special. So I will leave that because it's just, mm, I can't even rate it because it was practically non-existent for me. Music! Mm, mediocre. I mean, Bay, Bear McCreary or whatever his name is. I I believe he tried. And there were some uh, parts of the soundtrack that resembled Howard Shaw's score. Resembled because you cannot get even close to the god of modern composers. Uh, but I would definitely not rate it A+. Plus. Like, that that would have to be C- minus at, at best. Mixing, uh, I mean, once again, it was so average that I can't even rate it. <laughs> and the other two? I don't know. <laughs> they did, I mean, if they did something uh, well, as far as the Rings of Power goes, it's marketing. It was all over the place in the West. It was in bloody Snickers bars. So, I mean, not Snickers bars, uh, Kit Kat bars and Lion bars. So I might keep that. I might keep uh, B minus for marketing. Other than th that, this is clearly uh, being too, 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 too generous. Too generous for the show. Uh, and they gave the overall production B. Uh, it's F for me, um, and if there was a, a worse even mark uh, or grade than B, I would give it the worse one. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, <laughs> and there will be all. Thank you very much for watching, and Namariye.